I'm standing in front of a house on Molly Street in Ypsilanti. It's just north of Ford Lake. It's a nice street, cute houses. I wanted to show you 1579 Molly. Let's, uh, let's take a look and go inside. So this has a nice long driveway. It's a cute little blue, slate blue color. Um, this property line actually goes past these trees. This is just, uh, I didn't realize how large this was until I went back to the backyard. So this fence line is the fence line for this property right here. Let's take a look at this. It's got an enormous garage, a fenced in backyard. It's a nice size house and the garage is enormous. Surprising bonus from this place. So let's take a look inside. We've got some paper down. It's obviously they've um, recently recarpeted, so we're gonna have to listen to that noise, but uh, it'll keep the carpets clean. Let's pop this out. Um, not a huge living room, but a very workable one. Things, remember, things look bigger with um, furniture in here, so you could definitely have, um, there's enough space here for your couch and television or sitting space or library or whatever you want. And this, um, it's got a kitchen uh, and dining space all within the same bounds. Um, nice, good light in this room. See a nice big front window. Let's back out for a second. Here's the dining space and there's the living room. It's got these old strange archways. Um, they don't even archways, I don't know what you call them. So the kitchen has been uh, nicely rehabbed in what I kind of recommend people do, new countertops and paint. That's uh, kind of the simplest, cheapest way to update your kitchen. But this also has fairly new appliances, um, pretty nice Maytag fridge here with all the accoutrements, um, a nice uh, oven stove combo, heats up really quickly, I did a quick check on that one. Um, I don't know if this is induction. Um, that would have to be looked at, but that's quick and easy to figure out. Um, fresh, clean sink with a newer nozzle on it. Not my favorite countertops. When I saw them initially, I thought they would be granite, but they're not. They're just, uh, you know, something pieced together. This room back in here is um, where your laundry would be your uh, electric box is there. Um, they've got junk in here. It's not a very pretty room. I would like to see it with a door. It's a little unfinished, um, but that's, you know, that's cosmetic. Let's take a look at this kitchen once again, right here with your dining space straight in front of us. This is an outside door to, as you can see, the fence is here and goes to the back. So you can actually walk out right here and go straight outside or let the dog out because it's completely fenced in. So there are three bedrooms, one bath here. And your mechanicals are here. There is no basement, so all of this stuff has to be up here, but this looks pretty fresh. And that's fairly new, good, good mechanicals, um, quality stuff. Here's the third bedroom. The bedrooms are a nice size or an office space. I suppose you could even bump this out and open this room up. That's what I would do, but that would make this a two bedroom house. Um, your bathroom is nice. It's got what I would guess is an Ikea kitchen, uh, uh, bathroom top. Um, it's all fresh and pretty new. It looks new, new. Uh, the tile looks to be original, in great shape though. Um, it does, it looks in good shape. Nice little sink in there. Two more bedrooms back here. Nothing to write home about, but they're all a decent size and definitely workable. This one has a pretty good closet around the corner there. 
They all have decent closet spaces for this age of a house. That's pretty nice. Let's go outside. Okay, I wanted to show you this outside space and this garage. This yard is big. I, I like the paint color on this house for some reason. There's a bunny rabbit. So you've got this patio space out here. Sure, it's got a couple of cracks, uh, but it's flat. Um, that happens with concrete. Um, around the side here, you have this goes, this pathway goes straight to the house, into the kitchen door, as we saw before. Um, big old tree right there. A little of this fence could use some help. Um, that's pretty nominal, though, and there's a fence behind it. If you wanted to just rip that down, who cares? Um, let's take a look in this garage. This was something. So this garage goes all the way to the back of this house, um, or this property. Uh, this property's nice. It's got a fair amount of space back here. Uh, I wouldn't hit a golf ball or anything, but uh, I think you could definitely spread out a bit. So here's your garage space. This is big enough for two cars right here, plus... There's your garage door, see? And that's, those are two, that would be two beefy cars. Two of my car would be, would definitely fit in here without a problem. You've got a separate electrical panel out here. You've got all sorts of electrics out here. And if you go back into this room, which I suspect, I know it was happening back here, but let's just say um, it was a workroom or a workout space. Can you imagine? Look at the ceilings are all well done up here with perfectly done drywall. This is like another section of home because here we have a heater. And even if that went kaput on you, you could replace that. It's already, the expensive part is really um, getting the gas out here. So replacing that, if that was a necessity, would be a no brainer. Um, actually, it looked like it had a, a stove out here at one point, but heating this wouldn't be a big thing because it looks like it's been insulated and was ready for... Oh my gosh, look at all the plugs on the wall. You could have an amazing workout space back here. Look at... Plug, plug, plug. All along here. Oh, wonder what they were doing out here. Okay, so... Um, here's another storage space, I guess. You could just store stuff back in here. Pretty cool. Don't know why you need the separate storage space, but apparently you do. A ride on mower? I don't think you need a ride on mower. Hey!